Number 24, letter A. Using Bernoulli's equation, show that the measured fluid speed V for a pitot tube uh, like the one in figure 12.7B uh, is given by blah, where H is the height of the manometer fluid P. Okay, whatever. Um, so now, all right. So I think in number 18, I, I, I explained this concept. I'm going to do it briefly here. Um, but so here we have in terms of this tube, we have a certain uh, velocity of air flowing into the tube. This velocity of air is applying a certain pressure here, right? And it's applying a certain pressure to push this fluid on up, okay? So that the height here of the fluid is higher than the uh, height of the fluid on the left-hand side. So there's two things that we have to take into account, all right? Here's fluid. The air will be fluid one, okay? So air is fluid one. And the water, or whatever this is, whatever fluid this is, then I'll call I'll call it uh, I'll just leave it F, okay? And the fluid will be number two, all right? So we have um, so first thing, okay? We know that the let me erase this now. So we know that the a pressure located here, right? Of the the pressure that the uh, air essentially is pushing down on the water here will equal the pressure that is pushing up here on the water, right? And it, and the pressure pushing up here is going to be equal to the pressure in this part of the tube, blah, blah, blah. So basically, all of the pressures, the absolute pressures will be equal, okay? Uh, this you could think back to Pascal's principle. So the pressure here in Bernoulli's equation down here on the bottom, guys, down here on the bottom, uh, pressure goes bye-bye, okay? Okay. Uh, there is a certain velocity to flow, right, of the air. So I know that this will have some value, okay? Now, what about the height differential between the air and the and the uh, water? I'm going to assume that the air, that there really is no height differential, okay? Um, if I do that, I can cancel this term on out. And I also now realize that this fluid at the end, right, after it equilibrates, uh, there's no velocity of the fluid. The fluid isn't moving, and therefore I can cancel this term on out. So what I'm left with here is I'm left with one half, right, uh, density of the air times velocity of that air squared will then equal the density of the water times gravity times then the uh, height of that water. Okay, the height relative to, as you can see, uh, that particular height. Anyway, um, so now what I need to do is solve this. Essentially, they're asking me to solve it for VA. Okay, so if I solve this for VA squared, right, I got to multiply both sides by two to get rid of the half there. And then, so this is rho of the water, G times H, and then divide everything by the density of the air. Okay, the density of the air. To take, to get rid of the square, I got to take the square root of the left, right? And if I do that, I also have to do that for the right. And the square and the square root will cancel. Okay, so here is the formula. Now, this, remember, uh, the square root sign is equivalent to putting this in brackets and raising it to the one-half power. All right, so basically, here it is. This is this. All right, just with different subscripts. I think it makes more sense here. So this is, this is what we've done for letter A. All right, now letter B. It says, calculate the velocity of the moving air, so that's this, Right, if a mercury manometer's height is 0.2 meters. So basically, volume of the air will be equal to square root times two multiplied by the density of, now they're using mercury, so I chose to, I called this water for some reason, I should have just left it as fluid. Let me just, let me just make that quick correction instead of W here. I'm just gonna call it F, okay. F and F. So they, uh, the density of mercury, this is about, uh, what was the number? I think it's about 13,600, if I remember correctly, uh, cubic meter per, um, no, uh, <laughs> what's the density? Sorry, it, a kilogram per cubic meter. My goodness. Too many units all over the place. Multiplied them by gravity, then multiplied by the height of that mercury. So they told us it's 0.2, then all divided by the density of the air. Right, so density of the air is about 1.29. And when we plug this into the calculator, we'll get our answer. So square root of 2 times 13,600 uh, times 9.8 times 0.2 divided by then 1.29. And here it is. 
203, right? 203 meters per second. That is the velocity of air necessary to raise uh, mercury uh, by almost a quarter of a meter. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.